I smell a worgen around here. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see. We left off. You need to kill some worgen around here. So we just have to look for some clues as to where they might be. They are pretty sneaky little monsters. Oh, here's one right here. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so you can see they do leave very small little like dust clouds sometimes. This one isn't put one down in a while. There's one there. Make it but on my lower yeah, there is one. On my lower graphic settings, it's really hard to see them though. But at least they're they have this yellow circle underneath them, so it's easier to see them when they go by. <laughs> Why is this undead following me? Well, well he's dead now. Let's see, there's four more we need to kill around here, and one of them was walking this way, wasn't it? Where'd he go? Here, Worgen, Worgen, Worgen. Where are you? Oh, there's one. There's another one. Let's, uh, go ahead and tag him, because I think we can fight two of them at the same time. We just have to take this one down first. We'll tag this one as well. There comes another one, although we won't tag him yet, because these guys are both pretty much full health. Hopefully we won't get ourselves killed. Now we should be fine. This guy's dead. I right, so have to get this one. Well, there's one right there, I think. Right, let's eat up first. Such a useful ability. And we're back to full health. Excellent. Let's look for the one of the last worgen. Come on, pups, where'd you go? Maybe back here? No, I doubt it. Come on. Surely there's has to be another one around here somewhere. Saw a whole bunch of them. Finally. Okay. So we need to actually just turn in this quest right here. Speak quickly. To think that they've been right under our noses. I'll put my death guards on alert. This will not happen again. Right, thank you. And this guy has a silver exclamation mark, which means we're not or exclamation point, which means we're not high enough level to get the quest yet. So I'd imagine it probably unlocks at level nine. So let's go to the north first to uh, Garen's haunt. And see what's going on up here. Here they are. Certainly a, a hefty walk away from the town. That's for sure. But there is a quest to turn in and another one to pick up here. Holland, he's an amateur. You don't need a fancy two-story uh, apothecarium to make a plague. You need love. And maybe some good assistance. Let me show you how the plague is really made. Alright? My envoy just delivered me a bushel of gloomweed. Gloomweed? I don't need gloomweed. I need doomweed. You can see the predicament that I'm in. I'll make it worth your while to gather what I need. Bring me... Bring back to me enough doomweed, and I'll give you a suitable reward. It is my understanding that they like to plague the floor near the mass gravesite, to the north of the Braille graveyard. Hurry, and be mindful of gnolls in the area. Okay, so we need to get two, ten doomweeds. I'm pretty sure this little guy gives us his own leper gnome. Will give us a quest to kill the the gnolls around the area. Does this guy have like cataracts? Actually, kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Interesting. Never noticed that before. My, you're a tall one. <laughs> it looks so big because he gets like blown up uh, with the storyline add-on. Working for Jared isn't all that bad. He might lose his temper now and again, he, but he pays well, and he even gives me a boost when I can't reach so when I can't reach something in the cart. Aw, that's so nice. The mass graves within the forest to the west of us were made to accommodate the impressive number of deaths when in Tirasfall, uh, when the plague first came. 
bodies in these graves have so far been spared on death, but the Scourge now send rot hide gnolls to gather the corpses and to bolster their armies. This cannot be allowed. Your task is twofold. Slay the rot hides at the mass Garen's hunt, or at the mass grave and Garen's hunt, and gather from them embalming ichor that gives them life. Alrighty then. Embalming ichor that gives life. Interesting. Alright, fortunately, they are just like right here, so it's not not a very far walk at all. Let's see, there's one doom weed right over there. Let's get this knoll first. Alright, I'm gonna gather these up and then I'll uh, either finish the fast forwarding when we're done or if something interesting happens. Finally. <laughs> that was one of the more sort of intense grinding quests so far, just because we had to kill a bunch of different kind of gnolls, as well as gather a uh, an item and a somewhat low drop rate item off of the gnolls, although that we got it before we finished the um, drop rate one before we finished killing all the different gnolls, so that wasn't a big deal. Pleased to meet you. Alright, yeah, the working for Jared thing. Can you continue, please? Thank you. Is your task complete? Have you destroyed those dog things and drained them of their ichor? Hell yeah, my dude. Expertly done. The Scourge are mistaken if they think they can use those corpses against us, and the fluid you gathered from the rawhide slaves will be studied by my master. It may have secrets we can use against them. So we get some leather boots and some other stuff. Nice, and we leveled up. Alright, level 9. Just one level to go until we can choose our specialization. Magadai is a foul beast, even by Null standards. He leads a band of renegade gnolls through the land, tearing up the glades and stealing whatever corpses he can find along the way. Those are our corpses. We had plans for those. <laughs> Magadai resides just up the path from us. Show him no mercy. Mercy is for the weak. Alright, I accept. I'm also pretty sure that there's a rare mob around here. I think there's like a hut just up there that has a rare mob in it sometimes, which would be nice experience bonus. The apothecary mutters to himself. They brought me gloomweed. No, oh, I brought you doomweed this time, bro. Ah, my doomweed. Excellent. He rubs his hands together greedily. These will come in quite handy. You've done me, I, I mean, the, the dark lady, a fine service today. Anyways, as promised, here's that reward that you totally deserve. Aw, oh, thanks, dude. While you were collecting samples for me, my experiments led me to realize that more reagents will be required for this new disease to spread properly. Poisoning some hapless victim's ch is child's play. Plaguing an entire world proves to be a bit more complicated. I will need several scales from murlocs in the vicinity. You will find the creatures ambling brainlessly along the coast to the north. Right. Oh, and another um, quest from Mr. Crispin here. Planting the Seed of Fear. It seems that Jared has you hunting murlocs to the north. 
That's good. Oh, uh, I never realized that there are quests that you could pick up, or probably only pick up, after you've accepted a different quest. Not just completed it, but just accepted it. Interesting. That's good. We can use their parts for our poisons. I get a little worried sometimes, though. The Valfin spawning grounds are not far off Tears Falls' northern coast, so you'll probably notice several tadpoles among the adults off on the shore. If these impressionable young murlocs were to seek revenge on us, that could ruin us. Go chase them and show them that the Forsaken and the Horde are not to be trifled with. Alright. <laughs> Scarring babies for life. Sounds like a good time to me. Alright, let's see if that rare is uh, still in this house or not. Although it's telling us to go there anyways, so I feel like it's not going to be there. But I could be wrong. So there's Megadai. That looks since I don't see the health bar, I doesn't I don't think he's there. Let's pull these one at a time though, so I don't end up fighting three enemies at once. Because that would probably kill us. So we don't have the uh, proper gear to deal with those kinds of numbers. But we can easily dispatch them one by one. What is this debuff? Reduces our intellect. That's okay, we're a rogue. We don't use intellect. I'll just go down Magadai. That's a gross name. Magadai? Alright, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Alright, now we have to go down to these beaches down here. And gather some scales and frighten some babies. I'm not sure how we do that, so... We'll find out. Okay. Oh, no. They both got aggroed. That's fine. That guy should die to the poison. So, I'm just going to let him run. Yep. Down he goes. Excellent. Oh, we're two for two for the scales so far. So, see, do we just have to get, get close to them, or do we have an item in our inventory? No. Oh, we just have to, like, click on him. Okay. Why are we not... Oh, we have to chase him around forever. Okay, I see. That's kind of annoying. We have to do this 12 times. Oh, maybe less if they're all near each other when the ability finishes or whatever. Run away from me! Can you little murlocs? Alright, back to killing the parents. <laughs> Savage. Three for three so far. I thought these were going to have a lower drop rate, but I guess not. I'm trying to see if there's any like unique murlocs around here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go kill this guy here because he's next to a bunch of the babies. And we can probably just use all those to get our quest finished up. Oh wow, this guy died hella quick. One, two, and then these last three will get us there. Keep on running, boy. Or girl. I don't know what gender the Murloc is. Or if Murlocs have genders. Maybe they're just, they just reproduce with themselves. I don't know. I've never seen it happen. Nor do I particularly care to, if I'm being honest. <laughs> All right, let's go turn these back in. All kinds of quest credit. I see you there, Mr. Lepanome. You needn't worry about the babies coming to get you. Hey. 
Uh, let's do planting the seed of fear first, or turn it in rather. Did they run from you? Good. This is better than killing them. If they live to tell the tale, then future generations of murlocs will learn to fear us. Off and away. Yes, yes, excellent. Yes. Yeah, here's your paw, you stupid dumb. Excellent work. Now if only I can convince Jared to let us move our operations into that shack. Alright, another belt upgrade. Oh, if only we were a hunter. I mean, technically we could equip this bow. But we couldn't use our abilities. And it doesn't even have stats. It is green, but it doesn't have any stats on it. So it doesn't even matter. We have a lot of belts, actually. Weird. Alright, Jared. What have you got for us? Were you able to obtain the scales from those murlocs? Yes, sir, I was. These scales are perfect. Exactly what I needed for this concoction. We get slumber sand. Oh, it's just like a, a thing we can use to put enemies to sleep. Alright, head for the mills. The Agamon mills to the west have been lost to the Scourge. The Agamon family has been slain, and the entire residence has been claimed by the Scourge. This is probably the largest Scourge outpost in Tirasfall. If you think you're enough of a rogue, head up there and speak with Coleman Farthing. He's been doing his best to, to take the land back, and he'll need help. Just follow this road, and it'll take you right to him. Sounds good, dude. So we just have to keep going up this pathway here. Hello there, Coleman Farthing. Hello. Ah, get back! Oh, you're not scourge, are you? <laughs> With a wrench in his hand, he reminds me of um, Scooter from Borderlands 2. Anyways, if, you, if, you've, if you've played the game, you'll know, know why. <laughs> Thank the Banshee Queen you're here. I've greatly underestimated how bad it's gotten up here. Trust no one. The strongest point in the mills is the Agamond family crypt. With necromancy, Captain Dargle has raised the ancestors of the Agamond and plans to use them against us. This cannot pass, and you must stop it. Travel to the, to the Agamond family crypt and defeat the raised Agamond ancestors. Alright. This sounds like a g good old time to me. Let's see, there's rotting an- okay. So you have to kill five Wailing Ancestors and five Rotting Ancestors. Yes, the Wailing Ancestors being the sort of Banshee model, and the Rotting Ancestors being the Zombie model, so it's easy to see. So I don't do much yelling for Banshees, except when they die, I guess. Okay, okay. I killed all the zombies and banshees for you. What's my reward? Your action struck a telling blow against the Scourge, and your victory will not go unnoticed. Not by the Forsaken, nor by our enemies. Continue the struggle as we all do, and one day the Forsaken will have dominion over Azeroth that they are owed. Hey, some bracers. That are exactly the same armor as our current bracers. Alright. Let's see, what's the next quest? I hope you're all well, all things considered. Sit for a spell and hear my tale. It's a tragedy, of course, but one I hope will end in revenge. 
Oh, two two quests. Okay, the mill's overrun. The Scourge are trying to form a base here at the Agamemnon Mills. If they do, then they can stage further attacks within Tiras Fall. The orders have been given. The Scourge and the Mills must be destroyed. Collect Northrend ribs from Rattle Cajun's Cracked Skull Soldiers and Blackened Skulls from Dark Eye Bone Casters. Alright. What about the other quest? Deaths in the Family. The Agamemnon family was the most prosperous family in the Tiras Fall Glades. I used to work their mills, before the plague. When the Scourge first came, the Agamemnons fortified their home and convinced those in their employ to remain and help them defend. We were fools, but at least we were loyal fools. The Agamemnons, in their pride, doomed us to undeath, and now they are minions of the Scourge! Serve the Forsaken by defeating the Agamemnons who fell to the plague. Serve me by bringing me their remains. You got it, dude. Alright, well, I think that's going to be it for an episode. Thank you guys for watching, as always. And take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.